Bob Pisani standing by with today's ETF Edge. Hey, Bob. Scott, good to see you. The ETF gravy train rolls on. Record ETF inflows for August and for the year to date. But will investors continue to put money into equity and bond ETFs if September and October are as, are as volatile as they were yesterday? What might derail this gravy train? Let's find out from one of Wall Street's top ETF researchers. Matt Bartolini is the managing director and the head of Spider America's research at State Street. Matt, good to see you. Every metric I'm looking at, a record, monthly, year to date, assets under management near $10 trillion now. ETFs took in $73 billion in August. That was double the average. Will investors continue to put money into equity and bond ETFs if September and October are as volatile as yesterday? Matt, what say you? Well, I think what we saw in August is that they, they will. You know, August to start was extremely volatile. You had significant sell-offs across different equity markets, and we still saw inflows. You know, roughly those first nine days, there were still $17 billion of inflows into equity ETFs. Now, once the market recovered, the next couple of days through the end of the month was $56 billion. But there could be some caution going into September, to historically a weak month in returns. So I think maybe perhaps focusing a little bit more defensive heading into the months of September and October. And that means gold ETFs. Gold ETFs have had really significant flows in August and over the last three months. Yeah. Funny you mentioned gold. It's, tech's hitting another rough patch here in the last few days. But most of the inflows this year have been in tech, even though now we're seeing other parts of the market that did very well in August, not tech. So what would it take to get consistent inflows from investors into these other sectors like real estate or consumer staples or financials, for example? Well, I think we started to see a little bit of that in August. So it was still tech-centric. Tech overall ETFs did dominate the flows. But there was a broadening of the rally. I mean, I think something should be appreciated is that only three out of the magnificent seven actually were up in August. And we started to see a more broadening of the rally. And that is conducive to having more flows in non-tech-related sectors. Like, and we started to see that. Real estate a sector that has a negative beta sensitivity to interest rates. And if we know what the Fed might be doing is lowering interest rates, we could see continued inflows into those debt-laden sectors like real estate, utilities, financials, lead sectors on a three-month basis just behind tech as well. So we're starting to see a broadening, and the broadening of the rally should be helpful for sector flows beyond just tech as well. Yeah, uh, flows generally follow prices. You're right about that. Now, you help manage the Spider Semiconductor ETF. This is an equal weight ETF, maybe 30 big semiconductors. It is flat this year, and it's underperformed your competitor, the Van Eck Semiconductor Index, which is market cap weighted. It's up nicely here, about 28 percent, because NVIDIA has been such a big performer. Give us some advice here. Under what circumstances should an investor consider an equal weight versus a market cap weighted index? Well, I think this is a good example where market cap weighted is being dominated by one single stock, and that one single stock has gone on a phenomenal run that we haven't seen from really any other stock more in the more recent times. So that sort of lack of diversification has been additive to a market cap weighted narrow industry exposure. In our view, you want to actually pick up the theme of the industry. You don't want to have a single stock dominate returns. And in this case, it was dominating on a positive side. But we've seen so many times throughout history where a single stock could upend a thematic trade for an industry because you do not have a diversified exposure into a narrow space. So we prefer to be equally weighted. To, so not one single stock is dominating your exposure as you try to pick up an industry-related theme. All right, Matt, uh, we're going to have a lot more folks on trends in ETF investing. That's coming up on ETF Edge, 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Matt will be joined by Nate Geraci from the ETF store. Nate will look at sector flows for the final third of the year. You'll want to hear what he has to say about real estate sector flows. ETFedge.cnbc.com. Scott, back to you.